In this video, I'll be discussing my EDN article that I wrote a couple weeks ago. It's called Visualizing Mathematical Functions by Generating Custom Meshes Using FireMonkey and C++ Builder. So our goal is to create a visualizer for uh, mathematical functions. In this case, uh, we see that we have uh, a colorful uh, three-dimensional mathematical uh, volume. So we start off by generating the mesh, and the first step is to actually uh, generate the wireframe. So we do so by traversing through uh, over X and Z, and uh, in this case we step uh, a number of steps in each direction, and for each one, each little step, we have uh, a little rectangle. Each rectangle is split in half into two triangles because a wireframe consists of triangles. So we uh, name the points P0 through P3, and the triangles then become P1, P2, P3, and P3, P0, P1. So those are the two triangles. We compute the values for each of the points. F is our function uh, for all the three, four points. And then we assign the four points as vertices uh, of the vertex buffer property of the data property of the T-mesh object. So we have P0, 1, 2, and 3 here. Then we map those four points to the two triangles. We do so by using the index buffer indices property. So the first one, remember, was 1, 2, 3. The second one is 3, 0, 1. And then we loop through the entire uh, XZ plane to generate the entire mesh. Finally, we want to give it some color, and we do so by generating a uh, HSL map, hue saturation value map, um, and uh, turn it into RGB colors. Uh, this is actually just a line. It's exaggerated in, in height just for uh, clarity, so you can actually see it. Uh, and we go from red uh, through green, through blue, through uh, purple to red uh, again, as you can see in the image up here. And uh, the color, uh, the coloring is just a matter of uh, assigning values to text chord 0, 1, 2, and 3 for each of the points uh, in the vertex buffer. Our mathematical function is uh, declared as uh, this guy right here. Yeah, that's the example. Uh, our temp variable is simply x squared plus z squared, and then we divide by the same as we're uh, taking the sign of here. And now let's go over to uh, C++ Builder and actually look what it looks like. So we have a 3D form, a FireMonkey 3D form. So we have a 3D space in here. We have a camera. We have a light. We have a couple of grids. If I run it, you'll see the grids here. So uh, if I spin it around, you'll see the, the, uh, the grids. So those are my X, Y, and Z grids, right? And uh, I can spin it around the other axis uh, this way as well. So now I can plot a function. So here's a, a function that I'm plotting. I have a couple of other functions in here that I can visualize as well. Of course, I can spin uh, around and look at it from different angles uh, here as well. I can zoom in and out of the uh, graph as well and see it from different angles. So back to C++ Builder, uh, the way this is designed, uh, like I said, we have a 3D form. On the non-visual layout, 3D component contains uh, the mesh the text that you saw for the function, and the two grids. Then I have a two-dimensional item to this as well, which is my control panel, where I have the buttons for scrolling around and zooming around and, and all that kind of stuff, but also uh, the buttons for selecting the functions. So when I click on button one here, I um, generate the mesh. And when I call generate mesh, it goes ahead and calls my uh, generate mesh function, which you saw in the article as well. So here's my generation of the bitmap. 
Okay, here's the generation of the uh, tra traversing over the XZ plane for setting up the points, calculating the values. Here we set the points. These four lines sets the points. These four lines map the colors. And finally, the triangles. And then we assign uh, the texture as well, which is the bitmap we created above. And F is declared as right here. So in this case, I'm passing in a uh, integer value just to pick different functions. And for the first one, I'm returning that sine function that we saw, the x squared plus z squared. Uh, take the sine of that and divide by the same value. For 2, 3, 4, and 5, we have all these different functions, and we return the result. So that's it. That's an example of how to, how to visualize mathematical functions in FireMonkey uh, using C++ Builder. And, of course, it works in Delphi as well, and I wrote an article on that as well. You can download the entire project by clicking on this link right here, the demo application uh, for C++ Builder. So that's it right there. 79K, you can download it and have fun.